So, uh, Bobby, Pap, um, this obviously is um, um, uh, been a difficult week, and it's going to be a difficult, well, uh, four years. Um, and you know, I don't. Um, I think uh, people listening to this program, I, I I hope that they have at least a sense of of, of just how uh, difficult this situation is going to be. Uh, we are facing a uh, a completely controlled right wing government that will probably have the opportunity to seat at least one, if not two. Um, I think very likely three Supreme Court justices uh, over the next uh, four years. Um, so uh, who wants to start with trying to uh, t- walk me off the ledge? <laughs> well, let, let, me, let, let me give a different perspective, because I, I share your pessimism about what's happening at the federal level. And, you know, the one chance that we had to regain our democracy was to repeal, in one way or the other, the Citizens United case. And, and the chances now, if, if Hillary had been elected, the chances were pretty good that we could do something like that. Now it looks, as you point out, with these, you know, with that kind of control of the Supreme Court, that it, it's a good possibility that that won't happen in my lifetime, and that we've lost democracy at the federal level. But let me give you kind of another perspective of how to, you know, how I look at this and and gain some optimism from it, which is that. You, you essentially had a half the country who, you know, we've had 40 years in this country of the middle class under attack. Of all the institutions, whether it's college education or health care, et cetera, that have supported the middle class being eviscerated. Uh, a Republican government purposefully, uh, beginning with the Reagan administration, but also with help from Democratic initiatives, the uh, the trade deals that really screwed American workers, the, the securities deregulation, and and, uh, and also the, the uh, welfare reform that was passed in the Clinton administration. So you have millions of Americans now who feel like the like their their lives have been upended, that the system is rigged against them, and truth is, it is. And what Trump was able to do, which Reagan was also able to do, was to point out a culprit. A culprit could be the federal government, it could be immigrants, it could be black people. And that's who those guys were pointing to. But, and, and, you know, there are a lot of whites in this country who are poor whites who experience the civil rights movement as a social demotion. And there, it's very easy for them to listen to that explanation and to channel their anger and fear in that direction and run for their guns and point at the black people and point at the immigrants and say, you know, this is the only solution. And, and, and they essentially have just hired Donald Trump to take a baseball bat to the federal government because government is not working for them. They see it's rigged against them, and they want to. It's the same reason... The same kind of frustration and anger that drives people in other countries to strap on a suicide pass. They're sending them up there with a big explosion to drain the swamp, to knock down the buildings, to destroy all of these systems and institutions that appear to be rigged against them. The thing is that you guys, and you know, Pat particularly, and I know the system is rigged against them. You know, we're in court every day, and I'm in front of planning boards in West Virginia and Louisiana and other parts of the country, and we can see how the big shots are controlling everything for their favor and that, you know, the money is being steadily, hundreds of billions, transferred systematically from the middle class to the wealthiest class and the the middle class being destroyed. And... That anger, you know, Bernie captured that anger. This is not just right wingers. There's a lot of people feeling that anger. Well, Bob, let was, me. And, Bobby, and let Hillary, me. Hillary could not harness it because that's, that's right. In everybody's perception, she was part of the system. And then when she beat Bernie by, you know, 
know, by by manipulating the super delegates, who you know, who said they seemed like she was part of the big rigging. That was yeah, l- hey Bobby, let me let me just let me just real quick. There well, is- what I just want to just say at the end of that, the, the reason I'm optimistic is because we are, you know, we can harness those. That's what That's water keeper right. does. We're grassroots That's right. groups. That's right. We're harnessing that anger on a on a local level, and that That's anger right. is healthy and it's real and it's based on something that was, is real, which is this whole system is rigged against the little guy, yeah. and it's rigged from the top with the Citizens United case. But there is now opportunities to do stuff on the local level and the state level. One of the things that nobody noticed is that we passed in the state of Washington a carbon tax. Right. Hey, Bobby, oh. that's what I was going to say. Look, look at the look at all of the initiatives. OK, you had progressive initiatives everywhere. Progressive initiatives on minimum wages passed. Progressive uh, progressive initiatives on on things such as basic as, you know, we probably ought to tax sugary drinks that passed. W- progressive issues on gun control passed. Progressive issues on uh, on marijuana passed. And what it leads me to is exactly what you're saying. It's like Howard Dean said so many years ago, you got to build out a 50-state strategy. And progressives are doing that state by state. They're not counting on something, some mystical, magical bullet that's going to flow its way out of Washington, D.C. 